Well, uh, episode number 32, we are back. The five of us, because last time that wasn't the case. Now we're hello. five. Hello. <laughs> we're all hello. back. Hello, 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 uh, hello. Matt, Matt and Maria are back. They are one person, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so when did the fusion? When did the fusion yes. dance happen? What the? <laughs> so there's two uh, individuals. Uh, Ron the DX is also an individual. Uh, do we sometimes think he's AI? But that's that's fine. Yeah. We have proof. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Derek and me. And we are definitely human as well. <laughs> so that works. That's always the best. Oh, uh, it's know. been a while. Derek. Derek looks a bit ghostly. <laughs> light, right? Yeah, so much light. It's like white. Like yeah, white. Just, you know, I mean, that's awesome. We have a ghost as a guest. That's cool. Ooh, yeah, floating away. Floating. <laughs> floating away. Actually, <laughs> it's Colin. You know, the female presenting mass, the Mia Meta, the AI, yeah. and the ghost. <laughs> yep. What a wonderful cast. Well, you can <laughs> complain about the diversity. Guy. That's the only thing I got. Well, well I'm just making it. Make an egg. Yeah. <laughs> this works. Well, um, can't complain about diversity, so yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Um, so, we're finally back. There's some fun things to talk about. Uh, mm. Songs, new blood, but also, I don't want to say old blood, but um, experienced blood. I think that's a good one. Yeah, that, that works. left that us. Works. Uh, speaking about ghosts, they've this left us. God damn. <laughs> This comparison you just made made like made me think of like you know the middle aged bloodletting with the leeches. No, oh, like, oh. 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 no, oh, no, that was, no, that's creepy. No, that's not oh. going there. <laughs> okay, blood. Okay, uh, yeah. Everyone, uh, all people have blood. Bad example. <laughs> it's a bad example. To something that we all have. Uh, you got new kids and old old kids. I'm using old again. I'm using experience. That's experience, uh, might be, yeah. <laughs> are sadly leaving and other new stuff. Um, speaking about new stuff, HKT, that is really something like new, if you know what I mean. Yeah. This, uh, well, Maria, HKT, what do you think about it? We have a new music video. I like the music video. Actually, I really like it a lot. It has a lot of these, like, you know drawn animated effects on it yep and i don't know if you guys seen it but it really reminds me like when ice one was active it was really popular for fans to take dance practices and add similar edits to it and it really really reminded me of that so yeah. i'm wondering like did you get the inspiration from that because if they did yes because i always thought like this would look great in an actual music video for it me really well yeah done. yeah that's cool. What were you That's cool. Say? No, for me the video reminded me of the old AKB48 music game. You could play at Android. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew oh. someone would say that. I knew <laughs> someone would say that. But I never watched the show, so I I felt like I couldn't bring it up, even though I I had that uh, uh, vibe. I was like, something is familiar about it. I I've, I've seen something. It, it rang a bell, and then I checked the comments, and someone was like, the game, and I was like, that's it. But I yep. I never watched yeah. it. <laughs> but I know. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. Yep. And I, mi- I only sense. have one more comment. Nako is alone for so long at the beginning. I was being like, are we even going to see the other? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's up with this? It's just Nako. Like, yes, she's great. She's beautiful. But where are the others? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the way they, they did it, like uh, introducing all the members, which was really fun. And I'll get to that yeah. later. But yeah, I get what you mean. It's like primarily Mako for a long time. Or Nako, I should say, sorry. Yeah. Uh, for a long time. And then. The fun interjections uh, for other uh, introductions for the members, which was a really nice idea. It's, it, but I, I know what you mean. It's like, okay, it's really Nako in the beginning doing, I don't know. I, I say hand, hand dance, choreo, but there must be a turn for it. The hand choreo was so fun. I love it. Loki when I learn it, but I know I will not do it well, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But it looks really fun. <laughs> well, oh. I'm not going to. Okay. Maybe for <laughs> slapping self or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that that also seems fun. Uh, um, the X, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, when I first saw the MV, I was like, the whole combo thing that that that's not so familiar. And then I took a look at some old gameplay I used to make on my Android phone, and like, it's that AKB48 game with the super chibi AKB48 members. I was like, oh damn! Now this is a nostalgic nostalgic chip and a half. Oh my god! And I still wish you could play this game nowadays, but the service has ended, unfortunately. But this whole MV felt like a really good nostalgia trip for me. And 
the music itself, it felt like a typical HKT48 song. Like they were released like in the genre of Suki Suki Skip and the like for me. So it was all good to be quite to be quite honest for me. So yeah. Hi. What are your thoughts? Meta? Oh, I didn't <laughs> hear you. Sorry. <All> right. <laughs> right, yeah, you cut you cut out you cut out Oops. Colin, so no, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I like it too. I think like the song is a very good summer vibe song. I feel like this is something that fits with the season. I enjoy the MV. I like the you know the battle fest and aspect of it. Oh yeah. And I love the costumes. Like I know the gray. There's a lot of gray in it, but the color sections in the skirt, mm-hmm. I really like that. The and especially how more, it, yeah. it does. And it, when you have the little. The, the lines that appear while they're fighting, it's even cuter when you see them doing it. And I did kind of want a little bit more summer vibe from this, but I really do appreciate that it is this really cool fighting game where you get to introduce every member with the stats and stuff, which was yeah. fun. And we have Maria back in Sambatsu, which, you know, I'm not yeah. going to complain about. Yeah, yeah. About yeah. time. Of course, of course. About it's about time, yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's really fun. I really like it. Uh, this, uh, the melody is pleasant. It just sounds nice. It has that summer vibe, even though the MV, I don't feel as summery, but okay. You know, uh, what I do, I think is also really nice. Uh, the, the colors. Um, I suppose I should also say that uh, the song itself, unfortunately, it has something... It doesn't have something catchy going on. Like, I felt it really needed, like, a good hook to really ring me in. Because, mm. But that's really the only thing. Because the rest, I really like. I like the colors. I do, as much as I just said, you know, the colors of the costumes do pop. Uh, I, I, I felt gray. I really dislike gray. I don't see it as a color. Some people see wh- or don't see white or black as a color. I don't see gray. I find it so boring. If they did a white costume, I think it would have been so much better. Um, that's really my only nitpick, but I really don't like green. Uh, well, I, that's also true, but I don't like gray. It's just, <laughs> uh, but they do pop more in the costumes, and I think that's really nice. But the rest of the aesthetics are really nice, really yeah. cute, pleasant, bright, lovely. Insert other words from dictionary. Uh, <laughs> like it's really fun. Um, the the stats. I wish I could read more Japanese because I feel that the info they gave for each member is probably something fun, video game related. I. Uh, I wonder what it said. I, I should have Googled that because I, I wonder if it's something funny uh, because otherwise oh. I could just notice, you know, HP and MP, which is fun. I really <laughs> like the visuals. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, it's like a game, fun, basically what I just said. I'm really happy with this. It's just unfortunate that I feel that it doesn't have a hook. If it did that, I would have said it was great. Um, I would say semi-great, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, I do really like song- it. I would say has the same problem most 48 group songs have in recent times, which is they are good. Like, no, I wouldn't say they are bad. They are, they are good. They aren't even mediocre. They are bad. But the thing is, it's all everything we've already heard before from the 48 group. I mean, like, that's never a bad issue. As long as it has, like, something, a hook where I'm like, I want to listen to this on and on and on. And as long as it has that, I am very fine with it. But, but yes, yeah. I like that yeah. Like but it, I'm very happy that it's something positive where you look at like okay, this is a yeah. quality product. Sometimes sometimes on occasion, you know, it's like uh really? Come on, you're lacking oh, here. Yeah. Um it's good. sorry. Uh <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um but this really great. Why it doesn't have a hook? You know, here's a hook. Why can't you use that? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> um otherwise I really like it. I would overall say that's like really positive. Like H A T. You deserve a clap. Um, Derek, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to build on what you said. Um, I, I'm in total agreement with you. I thought that's the only thing that really didn't do it for me was it didn't have that hook. It um, didn't have that catchy little like thing to snag me. However, I will say, um, you know, with AKB48 songs, there's always two ways to go. You can either go into a new direction or you can go nostalgic. And either one's good for me. If you just stay the middle ground, I'm not good with that because it just sounds like everything else. So this one went full nostalgia. Um, I actually felt like this song could have been released 10 years ago and it would have been a fine single in the sense it, it like it like embodied musically all of the things that made me like AKB songs mm. to begin with. Minus that 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 little hook. Um, it, but but it had all the instrumentation, 
all the presentation that I like. As far as the video goes, um, it definitely felt very 2022, so that was good. But the, the video work with, a, with I think, AKB has never been an issue, ever. Like, they've always come up with beautiful, yeah. beautiful MVs. Uh, I will say what Maria said. Um, I, I was actually going to say the same thing for a minute there. I'm like, wait, wait, is this HKT or is this uh, like a, a Nako solo? Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really understand what was going on. And then, like, and then at like midway through what, like the first verse, you see all the other girls, and you're like, oh. I, I just looked it up. Nako yeah. is alone for thirty seconds. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's wow. crazy. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess if that's like your big draw, girl. All right, put her on the stage yeah. as long as you want. It. I like that they're creative. I like that they they do things like that visually. If only they could apply that same creativity to their songs, they'd be on to something. But I feel the best part about this whole song was that it just made me watch it. Like I, I literally watched it pretty much till the end. I don't normally do that, and um, but I, I was like washed over with a bit of nostalgia. Mm. And so that was good. So, and, and as somebody who loves all the old AKB songs, I'm good with that. Uh, one more side note: um, what you guys were saying about the gray outfits. You know, what's interesting, Colin, is I've noticed that in the Chico world too. There's been a lot of groups with gray outfits. Like Hana's, my my girl that I produce, Hana, her other group, me too. Their outfits are gray. And um, like they have, I've seen that with several other groups. I'm t- I'm wondering if that's a trend because yeah, in Japan oh, yeah. things they tend to be trendy. Out of nowhere, you'll see like 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 groups wearing certain types of clothes, and then everybody's wearing them. So I'm wondering if you if you're onto something there with that. Like, that's uh, interesting. Curious to curious. curious to ask then is like the great in general fashion as well. So you can use it in a barbecue yeah. or. Yeah. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. But that's it. That's all I had Maybe. to say. That was good. Could be. Also about the single i would really like to praise the, the choreography like mm. you know the little mm. edits really highlighted it but it's really cute it's just not just the hand choreo which is really fun too but just overall the chorus choreo it's like snappy cute but not like too cute see it's i would even say it's like has kind of a cheeky vibe to it the choreo it's like you know here's a bit of leg here's a bit of hand <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's, yeah it's, it's interesting you said very because I like the hand stuff was actually, I thought like again another direction they're going is different. It's cool. Like I, I have no problem with it. Like cutting and pop locking or anything like that. They want to do. Be my guest. It's something new. AKB is allowed to do that because they've done everything else. But it was nice to see that chorus go back again. That was a nostalgia dance there. That yeah. really was. I felt. Yeah. I felt that was like old school first 15 singles from akb type dancing that they kind of tapped a little yeah, if only they had the hook that those old songs had that, this would have been a winner honestly the, the little edits added so much like the choreo is great on its own but that little yeah. edits are like they just add like that little bit of more oomph mm-hmm. where it's, it's like cool. a little bit know, more flair yeah yeah it's cool skirt, like you can really see see the skirt is going swish and also here's a pretty like that you know shows it see they are pointing and see there's a little bit of stars and sparkles mm-hmm. and it just brings your eye to the point they want you to look at oh yeah yeah and it yeah. highlights uh, it all the right more. parts oh yeah that's really cool that I agree. like overall quality like really yeah. good quality yeah. it's like i mean it's good yeah just, you know? why, why you just like that one thing but even if it does like that one thing you know it's still great it's still really fun to watch you're still very yeah, it positive good. about mm-hmm. it, so yeah. go also see. glad Mikurin looks really great. Like, yeah, she yeah, did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> good point. Like, really good, good point. point. She really did. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, speaking of. Good job, HPT. Um, GG, also clap. GG, go play. CGM, the sometimes referred to as the um, the, the Thai HKT group um mm. they have been yeah. released another single how many is, is this Six, this seven? is no, no, no oh god we're oh. not that far yet oh. <laughs> too many this too, is, too many this is number four because we had am pressure that was an album and then ah. Molly, ah, okay. and then there was uh melon juice and song my 106 maybe i was mistaken oh. for the album um but they've done mahashi kamukane oshima yes. yuko's grad song yep um Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, stuff I love. Costumes. Love the costumes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. Oh, I, I want to talk about it. I saw it. I saw Izurina post a photo, like a full uh, body shot. Uh, and it's like, wow, I really love this costume. Love the blues. Absolutely. Love the, the golden chain. 
the black white aesthetics. But my only minor, minor issue is a really odd issue. I feel that the shoulders are a bit bland. I would have liked more color. But then you got the center, Fortune, Fortune, right? Fortune. Um, yeah. She has this really cool jacket. I'm like, that kind of, that uh, sells it. I'm like, wow, I, I love this costume. It's, uh, I suppose if uh, I like other things a little bit more, but uh, like if there was red in there, then you, you win me over instantly. But wow, love the costumes. Like, perfect. I think they uh, used it as profile photos too. And I'm like, yeah. very happy. Fortunes, again, because of the center, uh, because of the jacket, jacket really sells it for me. Like if the rest had that, it would all be great. But love the costumes. Just wanted to say that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Oh, other other stuff to love. Uh, DX. What what are your further thoughts? I mean, I'll get to the rest later, but I wanted to talk about the costumes yeah, first. Yeah, can't want to get there. Uh, can't go into much detail yet because I've only watched the video for one time, and that was just after arrived after the, at the after the anime convention I went to. So oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was a bit fine. Um, I was a bit on the sleepy side, but overall, I do enjoy the visuals from what for, as far as I could tell and well my shika mukine is one of those nostalgia trip songs that brings me back to the yuko era basically so oh well, as far as i could tell it was a great uh, video so yeah uh, oh, i yeah. i disagree Ooh. i Ooh. don't like the video it vibe wrong it had like these shots of them in like fancy outfits in like this whitish room and i was like mm -hmm. how is that I, this song i it had the exact like same thing two completely different music videos for yep. two different songs what what, what cgm what I, I had the exact same thing it's yeah. so odd with this song and to have that it also that's not their part but it did make me reminisce about no way man and they kind of did a similar aesthetic and what did i like about no way man nothing unfortunately uh, <laughs> but it gave me flashbacks but Honestly? still it, it's weird Honestly, I wanted to steal the CGM Melon Juice music video for this song. Oh. Uh, okay. You know. That, wor that works. That, something. That, they should have done something more fun. A party yeah, or something. Honestly, mm. no, the, the visual I get in my mind is just, you know, teenage girls being rebellious. Like, like I don't know, running around the streets or something like that. The costume would suit that as well, I would say. Like, yeah, you know. That makes sense. You know, running around on the streets, having fun, you know, climbing up trees, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jumping so, school, school, but yeah, that makes yeah. sense. You know, I, I'm not a music video director, you know, it's just the vibes I got. But as Colin said, the costume, oh my god, the costume. It's honestly best costume in any 48 group in Ooh. years, Ooh. in my opinion. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I love them, they so okay. They look absolutely great. They did the profile photos in the costume, My Baby Milk. Like, if that is what growing up looks like, milk is allowed to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. me and Meta have had a Fair joke enough. for a long time that there are idols who will never grow up, milk being one of them. But if, if that is oh, yeah. what growing up is, I I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Precious yeah. milk may milk. now grow up. Yeah. It's... It suits the members so well. It's the shape is pretty. The color is a really pretty blue. It just is a really pretty blue, and I feel like you, we don't see that shade of blue often, which is weird because it's really pretty. I like the little lace parts. I like yeah. you know the see-through stockings. I like everything about the costume. Yes. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, now you know uh, the only thing, other thing I had about the MV was the, the, that one part, or well, parts that happened a few times where they do that studio thing, and I'm like, should do a party. It it feels odd. It doesn't make sense. They could have uh, hung out at a beach or something, and it would have made a little bit more sense. Yeah, but that doesn't also... really diminish a lot about the quality because I think it's still well produced. But yeah. ah, it's weird because yeah. I think the 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 on top of the building with the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also about the costume, the hat the center has. Yeah. I like the hat. That is cool. That yeah. really nails it. Um, mm. That's also the only other thing that I had about uh, the, the, uh, the song. Though I would say I overall really like it. Uh, Meta, uh, do you love the costumes too? Otherwise, you know. Uh, yes, of <laughs> course I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Just course. looking at JJ's... I know JJ isn't in the sandboxer for this, but looking at JJ's profile picture, even with like the little hair accessories they've given the members, yeah. it's so good mm. looking. Everyone suits it. Everyone's gotten some sort of variation that looks good on them. 
you even have like the hair clips that says CGM on them on the side. It looks good. It's it's just a really good like that's the kind of costume I would imagine AKB would want to steal from oh, CGM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yep. I I like the outfits they wear in the like the memory section of the yeah. MV. Like the outfits themselves are nice. Like it's yeah, stylish. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But and Fortune is actually this is the first CGM costume where the members are not wearing the CGM colors in the official costume itself. Because yeah. mm. you can see they all, always before have some sort of detail that's like the uh, the the green. Mm, but yeah, yeah, that. Shade Instead, of green, yeah. we got Fortune in the CGM color dress, which I thought was beautiful. Like everyone looks great. I'm not that much of a fan of the the memory section that I've just called it in my head because it's like bringing memories to life with photos. But the section that's outside when they're really like going full into the choreo, I love that. I love that the energy that this MV is supposed to give me, I get it from that. Because as you said, it has the same kind of vibes that Melon Juice has. It's the kind of song that makes you want to get up and move and dance and have fun yeah. and like, mm. you know, live life and... And when you see them outside on the stairs, I think that's what you're getting. The inside part was just not as memorable yeah. in general. But still, Latin is Zenbatsu. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Finally! My uh, baby Latin, yes. Uh, but also, Mette, our prediction came true. Because me and like we'll, we'll talk about this later, but me and Mette have always said that CGM can get a new generation once all the members have been I in take Zenbatsu. it back, it's not allowed anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, no, but I'm genuinely like I think it's it's not their best MV because that's always going to be Molly, but it's a completely yeah. okay MV. And this song is has always been to me before like CGM did it when it was Yuko song. This was like a song we were supposed to see live in front of people. Yeah, exactly. Having people yeah. Yep. vibe along to it and then dancing. But everyone looks so pretty, so I'm happy mm. with it. Mm. Great. Um, costumes for the win. I'll probably say that oh. later. Too. <laughs> but they're so good. Like the detail works. That's like the golden parts on the blue. Yep. It mm. looks really good. And you yep. have skirts that also have like a shorts underneath, so the members yeah. are free to do full on head banging when they're going to do that in the choreo, and they can mm -hmm. do so freely without worrying. It's just, it's a really well thought out costume that looks yeah. amazing. Our people. It's the costume has like has the safety pants built in, which I yeah. love. <laughs> The costume makers thought about that, which, yes, go. Now I'm thinking about uh, safety dance, if you ever heard about <laughs> that, but that, now safety pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that in my hand now, with my own joke. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, Derek, did, did you watch the CGM one? What do you, what do you thought? Yeah, so... I mean, I'm pretty much in alignment with everybody, what they're saying. I'm, I'm with Maria, though, on the, the video. Um, I thought it was not the appropriate video for the song, only because, to me, again, you're looking at a song that, you know, one of the part of the number one streaks of songs AKB had forever. Uh, it was Yuko's last Senbatsu song. Yeah. Um, it was definitely her big send-off song, so to speak. It was a big party song, and I, I wanted cgm to take this turn it into a summer song and make it like a big barbecue festival outside or something Ooh, where they're all yes. just like partying yeah. on the beach having fun you know showing us beautiful thailand and all its glory um yeah, it's I, I, I thought i thought if they had went that direction and just had like cameras running with the girls doing fun stuff um that would have nailed this song yeah. for cgm forever yeah. but instead they chose yes. to do the whole memory thing which yeah. didn't work um <laughs> Although again, yeah, outfits for the win. That blue, I, I blue is my favorite color, so you know I'm gonna like it. But that was exceptionally well, and um, I, I was very happy that they chose to go with that. But again, um, this is a fun, festive song. Whenever I hear the song, I see Yuko's big, huge smile. Yeah, I didn't feel oh, that yeah. with this song. I, I just, I didn't feel it with this song in the way the CGM girls. It not to it's not their fault they didn't pick yeah. the mv but it's yeah. just uh i feel like they should have complimented the the stairway you know the the the, the building stuff on top or on top of the stairs whatever they should have complimented that with big barbecue beach party yeah. and i think oh man 
that would have been good. This reminds me, like, an idea I would have loved. This is a very Estonian idea that this would never work in Thailand for, for a music video. Like, in Northern Europe, including Estonia, we really celebrate Midsummer. And in oh, Midsummer, yeah. we make a big bonfire, really big. Mm -hmm. And everybody yeah. gathers around it, stays awake all night, and grills. And I could imagine that yeah. song with, yeah. with that kind of a concept. Uh, I can't because, because all, all I can think about is the horror movie with that name and what happened in that. And, yeah, I can't. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like whole, that. It's not like that at all. It's literally. I know. I know. Everybody stays up all night. Oh. Gets well. In reality, everybody gets also drunk. But you know, yeah. everybody also stays up all night, including kids. Like that is in a stone at least one rule that is like even kids Holy. can stay up all night. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. And, nice. Well, as long as you're not burning people at the stake like they did in Midsummer. Um, yeah, yeah, let's not, not, let's not talk about that <laughs> movie, That's please. a Swedish thing. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah, ah, we do gotcha. Swedish thing. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> Sorry, Swedish people. Love you. Love you, Sweden. Love you, Sweden. Love you, Sweden. No, no we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Heart broke. Heart broke. Heart dead. Heart dead. Heart dying. Heart on fire. Estonia. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> CGM. The C stands for costumes. Uh, yes. Costumes for the win. Whoop whoop. Um, then let's go to the, another. Speaking about costumes, but that's maybe me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, B and K with frog. That's the <laughs> translation of the. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, yeah. yeah, frog. Uh, not really enough frogs. Good, yeah. Hashtag not enough frogs. Bad single. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but probably makes sense. Sorry, I made that little joke. Um, I, I I I have to say one quick thing. Namnung shines. She's fantastic. Yep. Love her. This was great. Um, <laughs> but Meta, what do you what do you think about it? Okay, so this is an this MV is made as the opening song theme for a movie yep. that's coming out really soon. Uh huh. And, starring. Starring. Uh, it's mobile. We, GG, Namnung. Oh. Hmm? Hey, right. Yeah, poop it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's those five, or is... no, I think it's those five. Yeah, five. It's been a minute since I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, so this is an opening song theme. It's for a specific movie. It's like a comedy. I'm not sure if like, there's love involved in it. There tends to be. And mm, it's not my cup of tea, but I don't think it was intended to be my cup of tea. As a foreign fan, yeah, either. that's the same feeling it's, I have actually. Yeah, I was like, ooh. "What is this?" I was like, no, I, I think yeah. this is done based on what I've read in a specific like music genre mm. that's specific to Thailand. And while I enjoyed Dodi Dong, <laughs> a, yeah, a of lot, course, still, yeah, yep, I yep. don't think this is gonna be one I'm gonna replay a lot. Even though I love like looking at it, it's so much fun. Like mm -hmm. the MV itself, I have fun watching yeah. the girls; they look amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the song itself is like, I don't get it, but that's fine. Fine. Yeah. It's colors. Think, Girls are pretty. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I don't get the song, but the music video is very, very colorful, very pretty. Love oh, yeah. the feathers, love the colors, yeah, uh, everything. Yeah. Again, I I love the feathers too. <laughs> <laughs> we are vibing today. Wow. Hey. Yay. Is this, is this the day when me and Colin finally agree on yep. costumes? This is what the day. Is? It's what? the 13th of What's June. What's going on? What's going on? This is weird. Oh, yeah. What is this alternate reality? Yeah. I what knew. Is this I had faith in us. It has faith in us. <laughs> <laughs> the world is surely ending. <laughs> oh, it's a Nostradamus mm -hmm. prediction. It was somewhere at Bite Back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If I had more time, if I had uh, time for that joke, I could have like made something funny for uh, that would actually be true. But I can't that now. I need more time. Uh, <laughs> but let's say it's a Nostradamus prediction. That's good enough. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh man. Who next? Oh, was uh, that it? Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't have any more opinions. <laughs> I don't have any more opinions. <laughs> to be fair, I don't have that much too. I think Nam Nung signs. I love I love this uh, these costumes. The feathers, especially for Nam Nung, I think are great. That makes her stand out more as a center. Uh, it's mm. funny, um, like some of these expressions, like they caught Definitely. me off guard. It now makes sense more if this is a. No, I did get that sense that the movie is probably more comedic in nature. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. of these expressions, Mobile had one that I just found very funny. Um, the, the, mm. Overall, it's very fun. Uh, and funny, like the colors. I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the three, 
uh, probably be my least favorite, but maybe probably along the lines of Meta 2, where it's not aimed for me. Uh, but I do like it. I do like the sound. I like the visuals. It's still nice enough, and th that's what I take out of it. Uh, but these expressions, <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> remember that for a while. Those in particular. Um, I hope the movie will be very funny then. Um, okay. Maybe I'll check maybe. it out. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, if there are subs, maybe. Uh, otherwise, I I don't think I'll, I'm gonna get it. Um, probably for the better. Um, but fun. I like it. Hmm. Frog. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Needed more frog. I stand by that. Um, Derek, what do you think? Yeah, so, like, I I'm coming at this sort of really conflicted, um, because on one hand, you know, P and K are just, they're just awesome. Like, they, they can really do no wrong, but this is a case, I think this is a teachable moment. Um, so, you know, again, we've seen this with other groups that aren't in Japan. I won't say who. And um, it's, it's a case where they go too native where they're, they're, they're going a little too in the different a direction that I feel does not represent Japanese idol or Japanese idol qualities whatsoever. Um, here, here's the thing that I want to teach in this moment. The thing, the thing that makes Japanese idols so interesting is that there are certain components of Japanese idol songs that tend to be in every Japanese idol song, with very few exceptions. And what's interesting is that Japanese idols, especially in recent years, have taken a lot of outside influences, a lot of different uh, components from different uh, types of genres, particularly Western more than anything, and they insert it into the Japanese formula. And that's what makes it so special, because it's still Japanese, but they're adding Western elements. In the case of BNK, in this case, they took a, what felt to me... I'm assuming is a very Thai song, Thai feel. Um, and then they tried to insert Japanese Idol into it, and they failed. Um, it, they failed in such a way that I felt like they this song isn't, isn't what I would even begin to remotely picture for an Idol group that is saying we're, we're representing Japanese Idols. On the other hand, if I was just some person going to Thailand, yeah. and I saw a group of girls there saying, hey, we are Thai Idols, and this is Thai Idol music... Totally cool. I get it. Like, okay, if you want to create, like, your own thing in Thailand for Thai idols, your rules can be whatever you want. But remember, they are still carrying the Japanese group banner. And if you're going to do that, I feel it's great to include your influences from your country, which they've done in the past. And I think they've done it very well. Very well. Um, they're, they're, what they've done in the past should be a lesson for all groups outside of Japan to follow, truly. But... This is a case where they just said, nah, forget it, and we're going to go full tie. Not bad, because, again, if it's for a movie, that's totally cool. I mean, um, if it, if, if it's point. served... Yeah, hold on. Let me finish, Maria, please. Sorry. Um, if, is, that, is that cool? Thanks. Yeah, so, right. like, so, basically, like, okay, we have to think about our demographic. It's going to be all these Thai people watching this movie. Chances are yeah. not too many foreigners are probably going to dig on this. Maybe, who knows, with the internet, but let's just say our main demographic is Thai. Let's give them what they want. A Thai feel, Thai vibe. Okay, I get that. That's cool. Not a problem. I, I just feel, though, like BNK has been so stellar at taking the Japanese idol concept and inserting here and there Thai and doing it in such a way that they don't deviate from that formula. And, and they kind of stay in it, and they still somehow find a way to do exactly what J Japanese idol groups do, which is take Western influences and insert it in the Japanese idol formula. This is total Thai. I didn't hear one single thing in the song that even remotely reminded me of a Japanese Idol song. So that being said, I didn't like it whatsoever. On the other hand, if I was just looking at them as a Thai Idol group, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought as far as Thai culture goes, Thai everything, awesome, girls. You did great. You have a career and a future doing that, of course, because whoever wrote that definitely wrote it for Thai people. They did not write it for Japanese Idol fans that are appreciating what BNK is doing in Thailand for Japanese Idol culture. So that's the difference. Not a bad overall, thing, just like an observation. Overall, I feel like we all agree in the end. It's You put it uh, pretty a much. bit more aggressively, yeah. I would say. But I do think it's that they this was supposed to be the OSC for a historical drama. It makes perfect right. sense for them to go makes full sense. Thai. Yeah. It's, sure. I don't... It's, that's forgivable. You know, only five members. I don't think it was intended to be like representative of what this group is all about. Right. Maybe, like... It's not as if the costumes are, are, are anything, you know, that BNK would wear, you know, at, no, well, maybe, but, you know, maybe. it would, it's not, you know. It's not maybe, maybe more detail or something that yeah. more oomph, perhaps. 
Yeah, I don't that think maybe. this was intended to be something that, you know, is this is what our group is all about. I think this was, they thought this is for a Thai historical comedy drama, we'll, make, we'll have a song fit for a historical Thai mm. comedy drama. Probably. Good for them. I mean, if 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 they got hired out to do something and they earn some money on doing it and stuff, that's and if if J- Japan's parent company is okay with that and them using the B and K name, all power to you. That's cool. Like I I don't have a qualm with that. I'm just saying this is a teachable moment for all groups outside of Japan that want to do idol music. And I'm not even talking just the AKB sister groups that represent like BNK, Jakarta, Manila. I'm talking about any foreigner that like wants to step and say, hey, I'm going to do Japanese idol music, but you're from Europe or or America or something. You, you got to understand there is a formula to Japanese idol music and you can certainly add your elements from your country in it, but you still got to stick to that formula or else it's not going to be you're not gonna you're not gonna snare and grasp what a Japanese idol fan is gonna understand about Japanese idol music because even even like like all the songs that AKB has done, which they're pretty much the standard, um, they all stick to that formula. I mean, I could I could nail every single part and say, oh, that's that, that's pop. okay, I understand that part. But they're doing it in such a way, so creatively, with so many different genres and styles of music, that it's it's pure genius. But if you if it, when you actually write songs like I do every week, every day and I'm trying to write songs like this, it's a hard thing to do because that structure is very, it's kind of rigid and you don't even realize it. And, but, but, or you could, like I said, in this case, you just, (laughs) there you go. Forget it. Let's just do Thai. That's cool. I mean, whatever. I'm not going to knock him for it. I'm just saying this is a teachable moment. So. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. Enough frogs. (laughs) Frogs. 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 Yeah. Frogs. If they had a frog in there, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> that would have made a lot more sense, yes. <laughs> I would have done this with any group. It's like, frog, no, I rest the frog then. I need answers. <laughs> this is the biggest question. I'm going to not sleep about this because of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking about BNK, uh, as well as CGM, because we had that before that. Oh my god, the events. Hashtag too many events. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean, uh, so many events. They had that annual... Uh, I forgot the name for you. it. Exactly. And they were like, it's, it's like MCU uh, presenting these other movies <laughs> for the next year. But now it's this event for that month. Um, that event, so yep. many things. Big thing for me, Request Hour. That's going to yes. be fun yes. in November already. Like that, I'm, I'm excited for that. I just re- realized something about the first generation concert being held in December. Uh, yeah. probably is thing- you now. Make, make me uh, th- think about that later. Uh, but um, I'm yeah. very excited for Request Hour. I hope it's streamable. Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, I really want to see I what so. songs they're going to pick uh, and how it will be performed. Um, but that's my big thing. I, I, Drunken, next year, okay. Uh, I, hope that, I hope that it's fun. Drunken is great. Just get some fun costumes, co- yeah, uh, cosplay, that's... whatever. Or a skit. Doesn't matter. Uh, something fun that is just funny to watch and then have some very very tense uh, <laughs> rock, tense, paper, scissors, rock paper scissors yeah. of course um, but as I, I just as I said I'm looking at first generation concert I'm like oh I get mm-hmm. it I get yeah. it now mm-hmm. I see the wires yeah. were connecting uh, uh-huh. as I was talking about that uh, that probably has to do with the fact that the contract contracts. is up in December yeah. And that makes a lot. I, I can already imagine that everyone is gone, and then by the it's end, that exodus. it will be announced before that. It's an the exodus. 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 We're gone. Yeah. Oh. Bye. This is our final big uh, concert. Maybe one stays. Who knows? I could totally see that happening now. That's a half yeah. year from now. Yep. And wow. yeah, very likely that that's I... going to be something. We'll I see. Can su- I can sum up this, upcom- this upcoming half a year and just the future of BNK with one with very shortly they're fucked <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair <laughs> enough if every one of uh, first gen is out the ones who really made bnk a household name well i don't know i'm not native but they um, made it really popular really successful well, yeah. and if they're yeah. all gone also yikes. the thing this is the problem with bnk's contract i if you know they didn't have this rigid contract of where you, which isn't like in Japan, you know, where you can leave, graduate when you want to without problems. No, you have, in with the BNK contract, you have to wait out the contract, which is six years, I think. 
Well, no, it yeah, was six it's... years for the first gen, and then they reduced it to okay. five years. The cure no. probably so kind of makes sense, better. but still. <laughs> and the I'm not defending is... the contract, I'm just... Yeah, of course. And I feel like, if it wasn't this rigid, because at the moment, fans are pretty sure essentially all of them are leaving. We know of, like, one member who isn't going to leave, essentially. And if it wasn't so rigid, I think the member, more members would stay. But it's like, yeah. I... My, I imagine a lot of them are like, yes, I think I'd like to continue on in the group, but would I like to continue on for five years? That's yeah. Yeah, a that's much problem, bigger yeah. Yeah. question, that's essentially. True. And I think B and K have screwed themselves over with that contract. And that's also why B and K is getting a new generation, because as if an entire generation is leaving at once, and that generation being their big money makers, mm -hmm. like, yeah. that isn't good. No. That's not good at all. And like the up and like the other members, you know, they don't have enough big names to hold the system up. I get to, you know, even third gen isn't that well known. Well, it's known at all to be to be fair. Like I I've seen like they are trying to push hoop like next to seat next to chair prank yeah for probably oh, yeah. hoping that the chair prank fans will hop over to hoop I they hoop like... over <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. god <laughs> Which, you know yes all chair prank fans come over to hoop she's great i'm sorry we adopted popper a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. but you know oh boy someone was will i'm sorry there will be some first generation fans who will you know stay with the group but a lot of them will just leave with the first generation especially considering all of first generation is going like it's not yeah. a gradual shift of like okay the first generations are mm. gradually leaving and you know the fans are gradually getting to know the new members and you know etc shopping around no it's all of them are going at once that is mm. such a harsh thing oh yeah yeah yep and it's harsh on the first generation fans. It doesn't make a, it so that will be just like okay, I guess I'm not a fan anymore. All the members I like really are gone. Mm -hmm. No, it's a fa very fair to say. I totally agree. It's yeah, really weird. It's it's way too sharp of a, a yeah a, a, this entrance. That's not a word. And but I, like the them all contract. leaving suddenly. Uh, the contract is silly. I can kind of understand it's... that they want to secure because first song didn't really. You know, they really started to be uh, known with Fort Course of Fortune Cookie, their second yeah. single. That one blew up. Uh, yeah. That's how they became as famous. I think that yeah. was their peak, but maybe yeah, some maybe. other people might disagree there. I don't quite know. But, like. But I mean, <laughs> they could have amended the contracts after yeah. that. They could yeah. have done that. They could have been like, okay, you know, beforehand we were insecure. When I'm more secure, we can renegotiate the contract. Oh, yeah. But no, they, they kept going with that kind of contract so like yeah that's not gonna work so yeah and it's like those kinds of contracts i don't like it but they work in k-pop because it's like the groups are small once the contract is over they either renew or disband you know it's not okay the contracts are over everybody left okay the group has to continue bye. on <laughs> you know <laughs> game over bye yeah <laughs> it, no no that's that how it sense. is in k-pop it's a game over yeah. bye we're done with b and k it's not that it's it's like it feels like that, but the group has to continue on. Which it's like a long running show, but like the main cast, like out of the six, maybe I don't know, the big names, they all just leave and it's just supporting now. It's really weird when you uh, when you put it like that. It's like, oh yeah, I was watching this for the main characters, and now they're all gone. They're new faces. I'd seen them in a few episodes, but I don't know them all too well. Yeah. Kind of that flair. Uh, um, you know, it's weird. This upcoming plans for this year aren't going to make it better we saw there was a lot of first generation targeted stuff which oh, yeah. makes sense they are gonna leave they want to milk the last out of the fans yeah. but i feel like if they're gonna give a first generation concert i feel like before the first generation concert they should ha also have a second and a third generation concert oh like, yeah yeah that was yeah. yes really good Be idea like, uh, you know a last pitch effort to get the first gen fans also to you know be fans of the others yeah, before yeah. they leave with the first generation. That w that, <laughs> that's a smart idea. Yeah. Yeah, or, at least, or at least trying to get to know the second or third gen because yeah. they still it, feel like unknowns most of the time. So it's not like, yeah. oh. It honestly feels like they are just trying to milk the last out of the first generation fans instead of trying to, you know, redirect them. 
It does. No, I could almost draw comparisons to um, Keiki Saka where they just picked uh, Tachi as center over and over yeah. without establishing, you know, a second. A second or even a first. That wasn't, yeah. but, you know, it's re- it was really Tachi and friends. I always kept that joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, as someone who anyway. didn't really follow them all that much, that was my joke for it. As it was always Tachi this, Tachi that, without really... Even I didn't follow Nogi Zaga that hugely, but I still knew, like, the strong core members. I mean, and now, was, the similarities I, in this case. I was a big KF fan. I continue to be a big Sakurazaka fan. But, you know, yeah, it was Tetsu and friends. It's Keaki Zaka was watching one magnificent girl crash and burn. And oh, yeah, that's another literally story. Yeah. die inside <laughs> on stage. Like, Keaki Zaka was a fucking car crash. You know, the kind of st- thing you... <laughs> You can't help but look at. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. For me, it makes sense. I agree. Yeah. I do think this this year they're trying to do more than they've done in the past year because they're they're cramming so many events into this coming six months. And I don't think we should count on every single one of them happening. Oh, yeah. We have warned ourselves on that before. Yeah. Like Mm. the sports day. That's two years over time now, and that's been trying. They tried doing that at least oh, yeah. twice. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think so yeah, something that like that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and like we're having a Vira comeback, yeah. uh, which is, I oh, think yeah. is going to be the flagship for pushing more of the second gens who are supposed to take over front and center. Like because yeah. you have fun in that group, you have new stuff like that, and we even get a Matsuri, which is supposed to be. With both groups to like promote with like oh yeah because uh, festival the, activities like, yeah. concerts and but yeah I don't it's I'm weird. not sure if I am has actually dedicated enough time and space to bring out enough of the new phases that makes that and makes we're a lot of sense less singles this year like we're getting twelve single in oh, yeah. August and then we're not getting another single this year we're getting first gen single. Which okay. I want, I want yeah. first gen single, but I do not want it at the expense of making sure Similarly, we have a solid f- foundation. Yeah. That. Yep. That's true. Nobody is allowed to leave. No, it's our friend's day. Derek, yeah. You're, yeah, no, I you're... have a burning question. No, 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 not at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had my hand up. Um, no. Uh, I, I'll say this. Two things. One, you know, idol culture is all about rebuilding. Idols are here today, gone today. Um, and it's same with true with the major idols. They you know, they, everything has to come and go. Um, the the idea that idol is very um, tra- it's uh, transient in nature is what makes it so beautiful. And so, I I feel that the true fans of idol will get that and understand it, and they'll be there for the next group of girls, whoever they may be. I think the Thai fans get that. I think I think it. You know, the reason why B and K has done so well is because they have a tremendous community of fans supporting them in Thailand. A tremendous, and they get it. And I think they really get and understand Idol at its core. So I feel that being said, they're gonna be okay. Um, the You're second thing I'd want to say. Yeah, of course. I mean, but when isn't it? You know, when we, yeah. we see these girls go, it's like they die because we never hear from them again or, or they, they're just off in other dimensions. It's very rare we see them come back in any form. So uh, I, I feel that. I really do. But I would I would say the, the second thing is that, um, you know, when it comes to songs and stuff, you know, Maria brought up Kea. If you look at Kea, what it, I I, I kind of disagree with what you said. I don't think it was just Tetchi and company, although she certainly had a lot to do with their popularity, of course. I think it's the fact that they had Silent Majority, which right out the gate was a banger. That song, oh you cannot underestimate how unbelievably famous and popular that song was here in, in Japan. It was, it, was, it was a tour de force. <laughs> And yeah. then they've. You're preaching Sorry? to the KL lover. You're pre- preaching to the KL lover cho- choir, like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I, I actually have a point. Yeah. So if yeah. I could make okay. it, that would be Go awesome. On. On. So anyway, like, like I would interrupt think, you a lot. Sorry. Yes, you do, and it's so annoying, <laughs> but it's okay. Um. So so. Forced like, graduation. Is... Sorry. No, I, Maria has a forced graduation. She can. <laughs> so <laughs> so. You want to have a theater performance? Sorry. 
Alright, well, yeah. you know, never mind. I, I don't even want to go. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make a point, and I keep getting interrupted by everybody. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on the interruption then. You mentioned something, but oh, we rarely see them come back. This I recently saw this one SNH member, who used to be a member of GNZ, got demoted oh. to trainee twice, then got kicked out of GNZ, and this has now returned as an SNH trainee. What? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, <laughs> that reminded me of that, like, return, what? yes. What? what an exciting episode. Yeah. <laughs> what the, what, 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 I, 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 I'm just baffled by that. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? Yeah. Uh, okay, was... continue on. Derek, sorry. <laughs> I, I, have, oh, I, have, I have no energy or purpose in this. Uh, I'm done. No, I want to hear your point. On. I want to hear your no, point. No, you don't. Please. No, no, you don't. You want. You do, just want to talk. I do. <laughs> yes, I do want to talk, but I also want to hear your point. I want both. Can I have my cake and eat it too? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have any cake anymore. What's the next topic? Um, um I want to bring something up that we didn't got, get to in this, because yeah. we missed promotions. <gasps> promotions? Yes, I yes. know nothing about that. So, I think I'm going to take the promotions that I'm not conflicted about first. Yeah. And that is that the third gen has now had a bunch of promotions from... Uh, well, I kind of expect the third gen promotions to go into Team K5 or K6. Mm -hmm. Like, we're getting a third team, but what they've done is they promoted some of the third gen members into Team B3 and N5. And they're now... Some at some point, I don't think they gave a date. Gonna start performing in Theater no Megami and Slice of Aru, mm -hmm. which I was really happy with. But we got to Kenin positions, which I think is interesting. And now mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Kenin within like B and K to CGM, which would have been seriously interesting mm -hmm. and also weird. But who and I think it was Paya have Kenin positions with B3 and N5. Meaning they will perform with both teams while being promoted. Which I'm really interested to see how that's going to work out for them. And if, where they're going to land eventually when, there's, when, when or if they get a team. I'm just curious about the why. What's the point? Yeah. yeah. What's the point? Why, why in the yeah. same group? That does make... Hmm. Wait, did they, can we do that before? I mean, technically with Team 8. Yeah, Team 8 mostly, but uh, yeah. not necessarily with <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, it's weird. But can she handle all that? That's I'm sure that would they be can. my first. I yeah. think well, right now Hoop is away doing like the they're doing like a K drama remake that Chopin's gonna star in with Hoop, so sure, she's sure. not in the theater probably that much yeah. while she's doing that. But I think it can work. But the other fun th or fun or that I'm also a little bit conflicted about is that CGM forty eight has officially promoted members to Team oh, cool. C. And we have a new captain of Team C. Ohm has stepped down from her captain role. And Fortune <laughs> is the new captain of ah, Team oh, C. Center. Okay. Which is Cent fantastic. I think she's going to be a great captain. But they didn't promote everyone. And it's kind of... Course. It feels different when you're that invested in a generation and in a group. Mm -hmm. Not to see everyone promoted to yep. a team. And they didn't promote a full team. They promoted 12... Well, Team C is 12 people now. And a full team is like 16, 18 people around that in AKB. And we're having auditions soon for Gen 4 of B and K and Gen 2 of CGM. So there are still spaces available in Team C to be promoted into, which I find an interesting choice from Izerina and the management side. Yeah, of course. Irina, of course, has a hand on that. Mm. Yeah. Back to mm. the Kea slash Saku comparison. This feels like when Kea tra became Sakurazaka, where we suddenly had the Senbatsu system and the Sakura 8 system, and it's like, what? We were supposed to all be one. What does this mean? Why only some of them? We uh, want all of them. All of them are babies. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I'm happy for them. I, I'm so happy for everyone who's promoted. They all deserve it. And I do think uh, there are probably reasons, valid reasons, why some of our members weren't promoted, even though I want them all to be promoted. But I'm curious to see why Team C is appearing now, and if it's just because we're getting a second gen, or if there is something else to it. Please be a theater. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. Please be a theater. 
I don't Please. I don't really care. Just I want I want a theater run from CGM forty eight. So bad. I want they don't have to do Partiga Hajimario even though I know it's like the customary stage. Like mm. I I want a stage with CGM members doing a full theater run, even if they just borrow B and K's theater. Like yeah. it's time to see them in the theater. Still haven't done that? No, like I think they've like visited the theater, but I've not done a full stage of any sort. Oh, yeah. But Isurina does them on her I Am Live sometimes. The Isurina Theater. She performs oh. like the dances and stuff from different stages for fun. Yay. Great Isurina, as, as always. Yes. It's really weird that they still haven't done that yet. Did be yeah. and Kate. Was there something with their theater, or am I misremembering? Well, how so you mean? Like borrowing it? Wasn't there something along the lines of that they had to wait too? Oh, they did. Like they did. Uh, it's sort of. I'm not sure if I can call it crowdfunded to an extent, but they had people who could yeah, be like founder members. Yeah, I think it was called founder members. You paid and you got like special mm. perks, and then you uh, helped uh, save up money for a theater for B and K. I remember that they did that. Hmm. It's uh, it's weird. It's weird. That, uh, well, uh, both things are slightly weird, but at least B and K has theater now. It's weird that CGM uh, CGM by this time still doesn't have it. But it's I think I, you have to remember like the amount of people that are like sung by if it can sustain a theater that's yeah, going to performance this full that's weekend. Fair. Like yeah. I, I want it. I'm sure people in the fans in Sung Mai and nearby also want to go to the theater and see CGM, but I'm not sure it's like possible quite yet. That, so that makes sense. Case theater. That makes sense. I did read something. It was something very quick, but I still remember seeing something that CGM primarily has to appeal Towards um, more of the, uh, the the B and K crowd uh, in terms of geographic location because in their own home turf it's not as strong as it needs to be, so mm -hmm. that kind of makes sense if that's true. I I, I but, see it once you know on Twitter it's like also, uh, take it a little bit. Okay. It uh, could be a big gamble that could work also out. True. It's like we don't have like you know the home base support right now, mm -hmm. but the theater could try that in. That theater that's could true. be like, you know, that suddenly, you know, the people around Chiang Mai are like, you know, I'll but check it out. I think they should get a fish tank first in that case, because yeah. fish tanks are easier. <laughs> that's that's true. I agree. Because the fish tank. Oh, oh, wait. Right. So for people who don't know what a fish tank is, it's like the live studio where B&K mm -hmm. has live streams. It's in a mall in Bangkok where you can go. I think you have to win like lottery tickets to get a seat and then you can stand and watch them. It's like doing games, singing, having like fun talks. I think having a fish tank would be incredible value for CDM mm. to Meta. promote themselves. Meta, you forgot something important. What? You don't know anything about the 48 group. You oh, forgot. No, you forgot. <laughs> oh, no. no. I can't yes, you are awful in showing uh, knowledge that you have. Uh. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. It's not allowed. Oh, it's no. not allowed. I need to do it better next time then. <sighs> um, <laughs> girls, dance somewhere, place. That's it. End of yes. Sentence. <laughs> yes. Oh, exactly. Um, uh, anything other uh, that uh, relates to this, mm. in particular topic? No. Nothing that's so, not recommendations. Okay, yeah. then, hmm. then we're gonna wait till recommendations. Something to look forward to. I know I have. Um, new, talking about new blood. What kind of new blood? Um, the 17 gen? Let's go 17 gen. Okay. Um, so, yeah. they're we know 17 gen. There's finally a new one after years. Four? It's been five or six. Five? Okay, yeah, five or six or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. And then. Because I think Odin and 16 gen celebrated fifth or sixth anniversary yeah. in oh, December. On this Damn. topic. Well, they... I'm really curious about who Derek's favorite is, if you know them, the 17th gen at all. Because I'm like, I know Meta's, I can guess Collins, I can guess DX's, Ooh. not accurately, but you know, I don't claim I... to be accurate, but I'm like, I have a general idea. But with you, Derek, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't I don't really care, so we can just keep going. Like, I, I don't really have a favorite, so. I do. So, uh, Maria, I have, funny enough, five names I wrote down, the ones who... I noticed, I took it, uh, yeah. attention to. One, I'd say I really like the most, and the rest is more of, I, to, for, to remember myself for later. 
What do you think I wrote down? Uh, I think Mizubin. She's my number one. I see. Very yes. impressed. Yeah. She stood out I to me the most. I think you probably also wrote down Coco. Because she's just... No. Ooh, you didn't. No. How but I about... do remember the name. I do remember the name. Yeah. How about Eriko? No. Damn it. What? You have both me and Meta's favorites out of the window already. <laughs> okay, Oops. then how about Hotechan? I do know her, but she uh, cute. Not quite for me, but I do know her. Like, if you were to show me a face, I know exactly who she is. Mm -hmm. Sorara. I do have Sorara. Mm. Okay. Yep. Just tell us. Just tell us, oh. or I'm going to go through all the names. Okay. <laughs> no. you, um, uh, Mizumin was the one who stood out to me yeah. the, uh, the mm. most. Uh, based on the photo alone. You know, based yeah. on the photo Makes alone. Sense. I was like, okay, she is the one uh, I noticed first. And then based on the episode from um, Sayonara Morisan, Really fun show, by the way. I, I, really, I've been enjoying it every week. I still have not seen episode number 10. Um, but it's really fun show. Hosts are fun. Enough. Uh, the girls are great. Laughing a lot. Fun things to do. But with uh, the 17 gem, the ones that also stood out to me was Sorara, Hirata Yuki, uh, Masai Mayu, and Hasegawa Nina. Those mm. were the ones that I took more of an attention to. More so, you know, they, they, there was something about them I'm like... I want to remember them, and because it's still new, and there isn't a lot of you know shows and places for them to stand out, I just wrote down their names, just to, not to forget. Um, but it's eleven members, really fun. Um, they're all very cute. Um, I wouldn't say there was a huge, huge standout in the in the in the episode, but it's fun to see them so quick-ish. Uh, but. Oh. From the 11 members that were chosen by the AKB members themselves, though I assume a Mion is probably more was more hands-on in that regard. Um, but these 11 members, curious, yeah. curious. Mm -hmm. uh, any more thoughts about uh, 17 Gem? Uh, so many. I could go on forever. <laughs> of course. So many. I really like the generation overall, if it makes sense. I... Mm -hmm. The average age is a bit over 17. Fun fact. It's, I absolutely adore that. I love that they are a bit oh, older. Oh, like in this, from the same region-ish? I felt um, like I heard hmm. specific prefectures a lot. Maybe I that's me, you know? There are two from Hokkaido, that's what I know. Yeah. And I think Aedi is from, like, Chiba. Yeah. Was, maybe that's me, but go on. Maybe, maybe yeah. that was something I picked up. Or maybe I'm just stupid yeah. and I just um, misremembered. Like, I like the age, for one, because I do like just idols being not actual kids. But I also like it because, like, this means they can start to contribute to the group, like, mm -hmm. really meaningfully. Oh, yeah. Earlier. yeah. Like, Nina, especially, who is 20, was, like, oh, yeah. mildly like, was, like, mildly popular on showroom beforehand. Oh, yeah. Is, like, really showing competence as, you know, doing MC stuff, being quite good at it. Like, good. I can see her, you know... Because you, really? and Meta, if I'm correct, you really paid attention to the 17 yes. gens. You watched all the showrooms. You I know a lot of information. The, all the Sensor Girl performances have been watched. <laughs> Everything has been watched, essentially. Yeah. And uh, Nina seems re seems really competent. Sorara is feels like she's like even when she's standing still, it feels like she's vibrating. <laughs> she has so much energy. Energy, yeah. Okay, it's, makes sense. It's and she smiles so wide and big. I really love that. Coco, I make the joke that she is uh, failing upwards. <laughs> because she's really interesting. Because she caught a lot of fans' eyes at the initial showroom for saying, I am bad at smiling. And then okay. she has That's proceeded a... to prove that true. She truly is bad at smiling. Like, they've been. Okay. Like, she has performed Hard Kata Virus. Three times now, I think, as a Zenta girl. I think girl. it's four. Four now already. Like they, she's been performing a lot, and not a single smile has been seen. <laughs> and it's been great. Hey. And it's been made even more hilarious because in an interview she said that she wants to be like Oshima Yuko with a big like she wants to heal people with a smile. Okay. And everybody's just coming like, that's cute. And everybody's just like, yeah, her not smiling has somehow gotten her a lot of fans 
She also seems really shy, and people like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she just has a really nice demeanor. And then there's Hotechan, really cute voice. She, uh, I, I saw like, I see many times on my Twitter timeline that she already has a, de a dedicated Twitter account. Not sure about the rest, I don't know, but like... Some of them do. have. Yeah. It's almost, I would almost compare it to like cult, instant cult status. Where it's like, yeah. she was immediately picked by yeah. one person at the very least, Twitter account, and now I see yeah. her. That's why I know her. I just know yeah. for for that, you know. The thing <laughs> is, she's like a shorty, really cute voice, mm. but she likes like horror, anime, all kinds of like dark stuff, which is a good gap, like really liking that. Me swimming, mean, like you said, looks like a half -poo. Isn't a half no, It yeah, looks yeah, really pretty. Yep. Like, she's, I just really like her. She's been performing good well. There's Sato Airi, who has a sister in the group. Yeah. What's so, the initial yeah. center? Well, not in, in the initial showroom. She sent it all by Diamond. And Ooh. even with her sensor girl performances, she has looked really professional, I would say. Yeah. I have yeah. a sister to ask for advice. Probably. And we. Marie and I have been talking about we kind of want a Tomu Sato showdown at some point in the oh, future. Oh, yes. yes, that's true. We now have double sisters. Yeah. Exactly. Double sisters. That sounds really weird. But like two sets yeah. of sisters. Yes. Yeah. Active. Then there you is know. Meta's yeah. favorite, Eriko. 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 We have already decided she is future captain. <laughs> okay. Okay. She came in at the initial showroom. Talking about how she has, you know, thought about putting stages together. Like, she's a big fan of AKB, essentially. Good. Like, has been a big fan. And she just seems really dedicated. And, like, she would want to get, want to get stuff done to be the way she wants them to be. Like, That's I feel good, like you want that. I feel like she has a vision, and I would love to see her, you know, make it like... I can and already also, see Neon being a, a, a big fan of her. Like, I just feel it. Yeah. And also a ship, Erikoko. Me yes. and Meta, there is almost no basis for it, but we are manifesting it. <laughs> well, we have, we have... A one heart to got Tarita's performance. Like, yes. Eddie's first yes. performance was with Coco. Yes. And they were cute. Mm -hmm. Yes. So That's we are it. manifesting the ship. Like, <laughs> if need be, Eddie will fake it for us. You know, it will be gay for pay. That will like Eddie is that is an idol fan. She knows what fans want. She will make a ship for us. I believe it. I have to believe it. I want the ship. If you if you think about it long enough, it will happen. I yeah. think Jim Carrey has a, a similar philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> then there is also the two Yukis, who I am honest, mm. I don't know much about. One of them has appeared in like social media videos before, like three years uh -huh. ago, but that's all I know. The other Yuki, Yuki Tan. I know nothing about, which I feel kind that of. That happens. Yeah. It's I mean, the rest. Days. You know nothing about the rest, so you know it doesn't really yeah. matter. And then there's Mayu Chan, <laughs> who I also know nothing about. Oh no, she was yeah. a fan of Harry Potter. I think almost everyone said oh, they yeah. were fans of Harry Potter when they saw the poster. True. Talk about that matter because I know what you're uh, what uh, is talked about, but explain it why that's uh, <laughs> why that's brought up. Well, I kind of decided on a whim that I wanted to meet the 17th gen on a Hanasukai. Uh, it may have been because I wanted to meet Eri-chan, but I decided I wanted to meet everyone. So I did, I think this was, yeah, on Saturday, I met every mm -hmm. single one of them. And it was a group Hanasukai, which was really scary, especially for me just going in like, oh my god, there are more than two people in this place. <laughs> Who am I going to look at? Who am I going to talk to? What am I going to say? And... It was both Mizumin and I, Mayu both picked up on that. I have a huge Harry Potter poster in my bedroom. And we're just like, oh, Harry Potter. Do you like Harry Potter? And no. started talking about that. You're a Harry Potter so fan. Much fun. Oh, my God. What? what? No, no. That's a big secret. Big secret. Big... No one knows. Oops. I spoiled the secret. <gasps> oh, no. Mm, no. No. But they were so amazing. To Like, they were nervous and I was nervous. So it's kind of radiating the same energy back and forth. But... They were so positive, energetic, and I think like they did a really good job for this being their second Hanasuka ever. Yeah. They're cute. Awesome. They're really cute in person. Yeah. And there's only one member we haven't mentioned yet, which is Nozomin, the oh, youngest. Oh, Nanchan. Yes. Nanchan. The baby. The youngest. She is... I. The only impression I have of her is from the initial showroom, where she was very chatty. 
which I liked. Mm. Okay, good. And smiles a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like she was in like. a group with Ninan and Yuki, and they were like sitting closer, holding her like they were her big sisters, just um, mm. holding on. She's like, oh, it's going okay. And she smiled like the biggest smile and was adorable. You know, if you are the youngest, it's best to go all in with the youngest, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. concept. Yeah. Like, I am cute, big sisters protect me type <laughs> type energy. I've been plenty of members like yeah. that. I mean, why not? Yeah. That's cool. DX, do you have any favorites? No, oh, yeah, for me, you know, uh, for me, I'm purely going based on the pictures. And for me, I most appeal until now would have been Mizumin. But mm. aside mm -hmm. of a couple of episodes of Morrison, I'm not really familiar with them yet. So I still need to dig a bit deeper. So there will well, be more Mizumin times. She's really pretty. Like, yep. she's just standing now. She really I agree. is. I hope that they get uh, more exposure. Uh, there's, of course, Showroom, uh, Sayonara or Morrison. Already great that they appeared so quickly, reasonably quickly. Yeah, uh, I hope also that have it will more. Performances lined up. They have performances lined up. They appeared already on Tokyo mm -hmm. Girls Collection. Oh, like, yeah. They, good. I mean, it's good. AKB They're is busy. pushing them. AKB That's is good. pushing them, which I'm happy for. I mean, not that they, you know, they uh, they they take them. Uh, they make them become members and then put to the side, wait for two yeah. years, and then we'll call you. Yeah. No, well, no, that can it's still really happen. Good. Yeah. True. They're still. They, they haven't been stand, uh, assigned teams, so. No, I don't uh, think there's anyone who's been given an under position yet. It's only Zenza girls. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. like they're gonna give them a stage first before they're gonna put them as unders. Yeah. Which will also, be interesting. A yeah. comment on the members. It's a really good. A generation good at singing. Like, okay. watching the Sensor Girls' performances, there was not a single member who I was like, they can't sing. Like, there was one member who was, Sorara, she wasn't bad, she was, you know, a little bit weaker than the others. But she was holding a tune very well. And the others, I feel like with practice, could actually be good singers. Like, actually. Okay. That could be uh, something that they paid attention to. Like, because it's... Uh... The members that chose the new members, existing ones, I, I, I guess me on the most, I don't know else, maybe that was revealed, probably Nana and Yuri, they would be included too. I think too. Yukirin was there. Of course, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that, so. that was someone I should have mentioned too. I can mm -hmm. imagine that they were very keen on that, um, like the member that uh, Maria mentioned that had uh, a high dedication for AKB, I can already mm -hmm. taste me on being like, I want her. I, uh, like, I, yeah. I can taste it. This generation feels very calculated. All the members feel yes. like they have, like, a lot of the members have very solid, like, images in place already, I would say, mm -hmm. like, what they are going for. And I feel like none of them overlap with each other, which is good. And I feel like that's also the reason why they are older, because they need them to, you know, be performance ready, to be, you know, push oh, yeah. ready quickly. Not in four years. We need no. them next next year, preferably, you know. Oh yeah, in case it's needed, for whatever yeah. reason, for like um, a not that the theater performance, their new theater performances uh, yeah. from the new teams. Um, yeah. That's still not full, full, of, or is it? I don't, no, no, I don't, I don't think they're doing full sixteen member teams. It's like eight or twelve. Twelve. I, I want to go twelve. I feel twelve is the right one. Yeah. Um, which I mean, if in, in case uh, because there's been a decline, you know, members graduating. Uh, the new blood is necessary, and they could be thrown in right away with the theaters. Now yeah. it's 12, you know, maybe, but I can see it. It would be good yeah. for them. But since we mentioned Yukirin, I saw an interview where essentially Yukirin said that Aki P has said that Yukirin oh, yeah. can stay in the group even if she gets pregnant. It's, yep. So I now have hope for eternal idol Yukirin. Like, she will just be in the crew, group. Like, in 10 years, 40 years old, maybe even, like, married, she will be an idol. <laughs> Which... You see a ring on the finger every time. Yeah. Oh, I, like, can't, I, oh I can't see that. Yeah. Oh, it would be, it would be good. <laughs> You could, I, I could, and they'll still make uh, even in Sayonara son, uh, the show. Uh, Yukarin was sitting next, right next to uh, uh, Nozomi, the one who's yeah. the youngest. They did that on purpose, of and Yukarin pointed they it they out. Did. It's like you did that on purpose, letting the, the youngest one sit next to me. That was really funny. <laughs> Nonchan wasn't even born 
when you're kidding John oh, yeah. KB. <laughs> That's insane. That wasn't even in my mother's belly. Yeah. Really Perhaps that was in mom's belly. That was really funny. Uh, of course, it's an easy joke to make, uh, it but it's it's still a little funny. That, it's still interesting. It's like, oh wow! Um, like even uh, for myself, I'm like, I can remember what I was doing. You know, if if knows me 14, I can remember what I was doing 14 years ago. It's wild to think about that. <laughs> I really, I really find that interesting. Um, become old. Whoa. I'm becoming old. Uh, that's the thing. Um, what is uh, fact in life is we are born, we die, we pay taxes. The other thing Matt and I talk about that we don't <laughs> will not bring up, uh, that's an inside joke. And the other one is, we get old. <laughs> that's, those are the only facts in life. Um, yeah. And other things that insert joke, you know, you can make. Um, so 11 new members, 17 gen. Uh, any concluding thoughts? I'm excited to see the performance that's happening later this summer. And I really, really hope that they're going to give the 17 gen a stage while I'm in Japan. Because right. I want to go and see them perform, yes. and I want to see Team A, I want to see Team K. I'm just writing You're gonna down You're going to wear the Harry Potter stuff. shirt, of course, then they know exactly of course. who you are. With a little flag, <laughs> just, yes, that's me, that I'm the foreigner. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, anything, Maria? I just love them. Love them. Good. Good promise. I was slightly afraid, initially, um, because on that's one hand, 16 Gen, I absolutely adored. Uh, there were 20 something, uh, but there's still a good amount that I really liked, and I really hoped that 11 or 11, 17 gen had members that you know you could get there. And I'm I'm getting low key feeling, well yeah. mid key feeling. So that's really good. I'm I'm very happy about that. It's still very early days. Like that's it's true. been what a month. <laughs> so you know, good promise, good promise. Um, is there something we want to bring up about the other generation or new generation HKT? Uh, is that something that we want to touch upon? I haven't really paid attention to them. Like I saw that they've been, I think they started today actually, or yesterday being like uh, Zenza Girls background girls in mm. the HKT theater. But other than that, I don't really know much about them apart from that they may be um, quite young. Which yeah, is more, besides more for that, HKT. Yeah, yeah, besides that, I'm not really familiar with the new HKT gen yet, so I can't uh, really uh, delve into it yet, so yeah we'll i see. i could talk about the new hkt gen but i won't because i have opinions that are not uh video appropriate you have odd opinions i don't know <laughs> no that was a joke uh, you didn't catch the joke sorry it wasn't yeah. a joke it's just no it's it's i know where you're coming from um yeah i i, I also don't really follow hkt all that much so i don't know um but who knows? Uh, maybe HKT will do something. I also don't know what they've been doing, but maybe the uh, management of HKT will be something like AKB with the, with this new gen, you know, giving them more exposure, doing things like that Tokyo Girls performance. Like, that's really good. Yeah. I hope that happens, um, and we'll see what happens with this new gen. I just... I, I wouldn't say the particular one stands out. Saya. Is her name Saya? Saya. Saya. That's the one. Uh... Saya Morisaki. She sounds out to me. <laughs> um, other than that, we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe in a few months, um, I'll, I'll have someone I'm really aiming for. Uh, other than AKB, I don't really have a huge interest. Uh, but maybe, who knows? I mean, HD has yeah. delivered a great song. I so, guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah. Speaking of members. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, you know, well, yeah, members that graduated. <laughs> not entirely... Um, a surprise, but still unfortunate. Some graduations, particularly, I'd say, the one who won, the queen of SSK, Dasu, uh, not too long ago, I think it was like a week and a half ago, she announced mm -hmm. graduation, Dasu, Suda Akari, who is uh, 29 years old, I want to say, uh, something along those lines, I'm sorry, who's great, absolutely, after SSK, like, I got, I, I, I loved her. She is just really... I stand by mm -hmm. it. She won SSK. No one else. Uh, and, it, and she got second. She didn't even win, technically. Uh, but it's just very unfortunate to see her go. Uh, still... Oh, September. That's still a good three months. Yeah. Um, she's coming... She's doing her graduation like at the same time as another one. Furaha mm -hmm. Tanao. They're graduating True. on the same day. 
convenient. When I'm in in Japan, when I'm in Nagoya, and I'm gonna get, try so hard to get tickets. Oh, to that. you must. You yeah. must. Like, it's gonna be so was... sad to see Dasu or Nao. Or even if I get don't get tickets for that, and maybe hopefully get the tickets for the 14th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, just... it's quite hard though. And I'm not gonna lie. I went through the whole procedure with Natsurena back in the day, and uh-huh. it was I like, oh, if I'm lucky, I'm lucky, and if not, yeah, well, it's gonna be up. I oh, just well. want to hang out for a bit at the venue and then go back to my apartment. Stand but... outside. You're listening. Yeah, basically. But <laughs> fortunately, I won it back then, and it was the experience of a lifetime. I would say so. I really want to experience mm-hmm. that, like going to a full-on 48 concert and seeing if I, I've seen AKB live and I've seen like BNK live, but I want to see like in Japan experience the full Japanese idol experience in a big venue. You'll get it. And You'll get I it. want to be sad for Dasu. And now. Yes. Um, no, uh, 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 and Dasu in particular, anyone, um, I mean, Derek, you must have, sab- have something about Dasu. I would be surprised yeah. if you haven't. Ah, I, w- I wish her the best. I'm sure she'll do great. So she's going to be awesome. Uh, whatever she That's ends true. up doing in life. So, yeah, I she'll be good. Clue what she will be doing. But Wait, she's isn't great. Is she on I... TV? A lot? I mean, it, that's true. Mm. It would be a shame if she wouldn't. Uh, because she, re- she, she's just really funny. She makes sure that people will know that she's there. In a good way. It can be seen as a bad way. Uh, thing but uh, she really draws the attention to her in a positive way that's really fun uh, she can make jokes about herself and about others so that's all really really funny that's who's great <laughs> it's so important but it feels it feels right it feels right that uh, she announces graduation sometimes you know the, the time is up you know and I think uh, she has done so much and I think SKE is in the pretty good hands that she feels that it's time or, you know, but she they, wants to pursue other endeavors. SK is even, they debuted a new stage, I think, like, the other day. Yeah, I think so. Great. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, they did. It's, um, Kimi, I o Kimi ni bo, I o Boku ni, I think. Okay. Did, like, I think the full albums is on Spotify, if anyone wants to check it out. And I heard, like, the main title song, and I really enjoy it. So okay. I think SK is, like, they're doing good in their part of the world. Or their part That's of Japan. True. And then the other graduation, this was already a while ago, I think a good month. Rura Hata now. Um, yeah. Someone has a surprise? I don't know. I, I, I didn't really follow her anymore a lot, um, which is on one hand unfortunate. Um, but she is also a great member overall still. And it's... Uh, I think it also makes sense that she feels like, you know, I've done so much. I mean, how long how long has she been around? Like, long, long, long. Very long. Yeah, I mean, pretty, really long, actually, pretty. yeah. But... I can't remember. Um, but anyway, um, uh, it's, it's still unfortunate. But, you know, you, you got to go when you got to go. And I think uh, Furata has done a lot where it feels like she wants to pursue other things. I don't know exactly what she wants to do. But... I wish her all the best. I think she's very talented. Uh, oh, maybe not, not funny, funny like Dasu, but I think she really can uh, leave her own mark on herself. Uh, uh, kind of like what Miru, Miru has been doing. At least mm. I, I follow Miru enough where I'm like, she's been doing stuff. So I think uh, now can do something along those lines too. Or maybe something else. I'm not sure. Um, anyone something about Furata now? Uh, for me, I yeah, for me I would quite like Furata now because she had also this experimental side on her whilst oh, yeah. doing performances with the more or less un- with the more underground scene in Nagoya. Because oh, yeah, I rem- did, yeah. yeah, I I remember she did a couple of performances with a Nagoya underground group and a friend of mine sent me a couple sent me some uh, music of the group she performed it, and it was pretty it was really nice actually yeah so I really wish I could see it live but it was it's pretty hard nowadays so yeah but that's what I quite liked about Fugata now she had this <laughs> experimental side so that's for me yeah she did that's did. true like she did right. diversity really well in terms of image because if you uh-huh. look at like early days Fugata now she was really uh, cute, at least in my memory, she was really cute, long hair, and then she flipped the coin with, went short hair, and still 
looked amazing, really pulled off the Around cool the image. time uh, they did Frustration, which yeah. uh, she centered, which I think it was around that time where uh, uh, where that happened. I, I noticed that too. Um, I think it was around she that really time. She really seems to look. She really she seems to look. Yeah, that's true. Like, I'll give her that. Great at being girl crush. Yeah, that's that's a really good example. I agree. That's a really good example. Uh, so, um, I mean, yeah, this, uh, I'm sure she'll do great. Um, uh, I, I got, I got that, that's all I have on Furata now. Anyone else in particular yeah. about Furata now, Derek? Nope. Everything's cool. She's awesome. That's a fact. Um, so that, uh, is there a, another graduation? Like, there are plenty of girls that announce graduation. Like, I, I see it on my timeline. It's like, oh, this member graduated. But I, 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 mm. I, I don't tend to know them all that well. So I'm like, uh, I, I see it happening. I remember, oh, someone graduated, but they're not ones that I know a lot of. Is there someone who is like, oh, someone announced graduation, oh. and I feel, I, I, I want to bring it up. There has been one, but it, it matters kind of more to me, maybe, than yeah, the other of group. But... Bamboo graduated from BNK, and she had her graduation stage, I think, like a week or two ago. And Bamboo is like one of the funniest members in BNK, and she was part of the trio with Munich and Bamboo Fun, and they're really fun. And I think it's a big loss for BNK, but at the same time, I'm happy she decided to uh, go the next step in her path. Anything else, if that was the last also uh, two graduations, is there another topic that uh, someone wants to bring up? Uh, because, you know, why not? Uh, there's so, so many topics, but, you know, there are some minor ones too, perhaps. Um, anyone? That's like, I want to bring this up. Mm, no, I'm good, actually. It's been okay. so long that you forget something. You're bound to forget yeah. something. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I bring it up. I'm like, is there something? I mean, um, AKB Team TP, uh, six single. I said earlier about CGM. Maybe I uh, I said six singles. Maybe I was also mistaken with this. Because I didn't write this in the notes. So uh, I, uh, maybe I misremembered. They'll be releasing a Rumor, Neohama Rumor, as their next one. Um, very recent. Uh, I mean, that was... September last year? Something along those lines. August or something? Um, interesting. Yeah. Um, I didn't love <laughs> the single all that much. So I'm curious to see what they do. Maybe they do it in a more preferred way for me. Who knows? Or not. That's also an option. But, you know, it's, I'm, I'm curious at the very least. Because that's kind of a cool thing about, you know, if you don't like a particular single or, you know, the direction that a particular group takes kind of what we said about CGM, then maybe this will be a rumor portrayal that I really like. Um, I hope so. Possible. That would be nice. Uh, I, I have no date. So they just announced it like, oh, a full month ago. So I don't know the exact uh, more information, but I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, Anything else? Otherwise, we'll go to uh, recommendations because I know I want to recommend something. <laughs> hey. Then let's go to recommendations. Okay. J JKT, uh, second original <gasps> single, Flying yes. High. Uh, it's coming out like this week, like in a few days. It's like, uh, on one hand, I wanted to wait for like another week uh, because who knows what yeah. this will be. And it's just an MV. That's something very easy to talk about. Yeah. When I saw this, I. <laughs> I was like, I saw Flying first, and immediately in my head, I'm thinking, of course, about my favorite uh, song, Flying Get. So I'm like, wait, Flying that. Get? They yeah, exactly. That. <laughs> I see JKT, new, I see Flying, I already connect the dots in my own way, and I'm yeah. like, oh, what, huh? And then I, re I actually read it, it's a good <laughs> skill, skill to have. Mm. Uh, and it's like, okay, second original single, because ah, it's been, I remember that when they did, oh. Rhapsody? No, 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 no. Before that, um, high yeah. tension. Sorry, high tension. High tension. Right. Did yeah. high tension early in the year of mm. 2019. Yeah. And I thought that was awesome. Awesome. Absolutely yeah. 10 out of 10 for me. And then Corona happened, happened, happened. And they did not release for ages. Then they did Rhapsody, I think. Mm. I think. Either way, they did one thing. That was 2020. Mm. 
or 2021. I don't exact. Uh, I don't know the exact dates. And then another year, which he did. I forgot the title, but I can picture it. Something something die. Something. And now they are doing this. So I just hope that they uh, get back into a consistent out uh, release output. Yeah. I really hope that. Um, I don't mind it's an original single. That's perfectly fine, of course. Uh, I like that. I, I, I do hope, you know, a, a, an old school because I just got so blown, well, blown away. Well, I kind of did about high tension. Even though I really like the song, uh, they just did, did it in such a way. I was like, I want the next one right now. Uh, so I, I look forward to that. But maybe... Maybe this one will be kind of like that too. No the clue what to expect. High. The hopes are so high because the new yeah, era stuff they've been doing have been really good. So I have I have high hopes. Like it's even the performances like they that they've had. They've been well shot, well filmed, good costumes. Mm -hmm. Everything has been so on point that I just I'm excited. I want to see what JKT is going to bring us with this new era. Especially, I like that it is an original single, but because this mm -hmm. will be a statement of, like, this is the new us. And yeah. I love that. I think they've kind of been doing that with uh, those new, a uh, new, new age? New... I forgot the title. Uh, they new did era. this new era. Yeah. That's it. Thank yeah. you. They did that, yeah. that one uh, last year with two songs, which was awesome. Best thing yeah. last year, without a doubt. They did the second one, which... Then quite live up to the hype. It was weird. It was weird how they did that. Um, but I'm I'm still curious to this. I don't know what to expect. Flying high sounds upbeat. You know, high. I don't know something more uh, along those lines. I don't know. I hope so. That's something I do like. And if it's not, we'll see. Maybe it will still be something very fun. So I look forward to that. Um, we'll see who the center. Well, I have a feeling, but. We'll see who that is. I, I, wait, I don't know. They, uh, they probably revealed it, but I forgot. I think they um, did, because it's a smaller Zambatsu than I think we've ever seen before. Um, it was like seven, nine? Yeah, it's really small. I rem now I remember that. Um, it's weird. I, I've seen, like, teasers. Well, I've seen that there are teasers, that they exist, but I haven't watched the teasers. I tend not to do that. So I don't quite know what to expect. But I, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, yeah. new MV, easy thing to uh consume so look forward to that um that's my recommendation just really looking yeah. forward to each uh, jkt one uh yes. maria sakurazaka is having auditions oh my god i have <laughs> four auditions so i have so many emotions all at once i am sad because oh no more members oh no i don't want more members but then i'm also oh yes kira will be more a probably. senpai Yes, that's cool. I'm sure they will be great. But then I'm also like, oh God, will will they be introverted losers like the rest of the members? Oh, <laughs> you know, hope not. That's a bit. That's a bit of a you know. That's a bit of an exaggeration. But you know, I hope. I just really hope that they fit in well. And I know they probably will. I have trust in management. Well, not really, but kind <laughs> of. You know. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, uh, yeah. So I'm just. I am happy, but also not. I am so confused. Emotions are happening, but also auditions. Yay. And then they will be revealed, and then you're going to love them all. Of course I will. Like, when the six, like, the, the second generation was involved, introduced in, like, two pieces, when the, like, six, like, last members were introduced as the second generation, that was, like, a month after Techi left. And I remember commenting, uh. like... Do I want more members? No. Is this a good idea? No. Is this good timing? No. Will this stop me from loving them? Absolutely not. Kira is my Oshi. <laughs> good? I see that as good. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, uh, five stages of something. Yeah. I don't know what to call it. Uh, you, you catch my vibe. Yeah. You're going to love them anyway. I love uh, them anyway. It's like, ah, new people, I don't like new people. But then you see them, oh, I like new people. Yeah. Kind of that vibe. Um, uh, uh, DX, what is your recommendation? Um, not necessarily a recommendation, but one of AKB shows is ending in about two weeks, and it's called AKB48 Saiken Kita. Oh, um, yeah. Yep. So I would highly suggest to watch it because, well, it is still one of AKB, uh, AKB48 shows that's ending, so I'm not sure what's but going to be re replacing it. It it's is, coming it back. Is. It's coming back? Okay. With a new name again. It's again? the new name. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like a it, reboot. <laughs> it'll be like a competition video yeah. game thing, AR stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something. Um, 
they are uh, they don't exactly what but what i do remember and that was the thing that i got the most out of 30 matches sports related matches in three months a very consistent a lot output of uh, content from them and that's got me really interesting yeah. um I, I i would i saw someone on twitter and said bring back ssk that should be probably better because some they want to do something more competitive uh, that's yeah. what the member said which they said uh to the management and management is like then let's do this we have already something great uh that we've done plenty of times but no let's do something new um but it's a new program i forgot when i hope soon but like they like said... they're having like a big event where you can mm-hmm. see the members compete on stage yep. i think like in i want to say like early july maybe or mid July, and then they will probably like show footage from that when they start to show. I hope or so. Something else. Um, at, at, at least you know, thirty matches in three months. That's okay. That's fast. That's good. Not something like, oh, let's wait two other months for one thing that spans, I don't know, three hours, and then another two months waiting. So I think that's good. I'm really excited for that. Uh, I hope it's fun. Um, but that's uh, it's unfortunate that that show has to go but it's basically kind of new like somewhat of a reboot soft reboot uh they kept the title i think they changed like a little bit uh saiken kita kamo so it could be uh, doing stuff that's good yeah um uh, sorry meta i know (laughs) once again difficult me and meta we just mix together in people's (laughs) brains it happens it's okay yeah. It's too difficult for me. It's too difficult. No. For me. Too many girls to remember. Also with AKB <laughs> and the BNK, it's too difficult. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay. So my no. recommendations are like go check out the BNK MV, the CGM MV, and uh, there's like Chaprang and Mayu from BNK. Mm-hmm. They went to the Amer- America. They went to Texas. I think no. Yeah, Houston. No, yeah. Like, so, yeah. Yeah. So, and they went to like a NASA training camp kind of thing. And mm-hmm. Chakram was filming it and has been posting vlogs from it. And mm-hmm. I really recommend people like go checking that out because I think it's really funny to watch. Like, uh, if you're interested just in them or in space stuff, then space stuff. it's. <laughs> Sorry. No. I don't My know. Fault. Well, at least it's really, it's really cute vlogs. It's fun. Mm-hmm. And I do want to say, like, if anyone who's watching is considering auditioning for BNK CGM, do it. If it's your dream, then you should try it. Like, sure, fans are skeptical now, but that's until we have names and faces that we can put to the generations. And then we will accept you in with our hearts. Like, we're still going to love the new generation, even if we don't know you yet. So if you have the chance and you are eligible to audition, I think you should do it. Like, follow your dreams. Automatic love. Yeah. I'm gonna love you uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's good. Looking forward to that. If they're picked by Izurina, why am I not gonna love them? Of course. Autom- that's also automatic. <laughs> why not? I agree. Uh, Derek, is there something that you would love to recommend? Yeah, just uh, watch the HKT48 video. It's amazing. And that's it. Nothing for yourself that you've been doing with Idol Underground? No, that's it. Just HKT48. Let's watch it. Enjoy it. It's great. That is true indeed. Um, so thank you everyone for joining. Those were the recommendations. I uh, hope you had fun. Let us know what you think uh, about HKT because that was obviously the best one. But if you liked something else more, also perfectly fine. Let us know. Why? Uh, because that's always interesting as well as the other things. Uh, hope to see you next time for episode 33. Hopefully soon. We'll never know. Um, looking forward to all the new things. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.